Y'all know what the funniest thing is? I think the funniest thing is men at the gym. Now, granted, I don't go to the gym. I like to get my exercise in a natural environment, just walking throughout my own neighborhood and hiking. But I just think it's funny. Like, I watch these videos of men at the gym, and they're so obsessed with building muscle. They're just so obsessed with it. Now, granted, I did just get me a 10-pound dumbbell weight. I've been working out myself, yo. But they just be, like, at it, yo. They really, and they be like, it's like, how big do your muscles need to get, yo? I've seen, like, men working out in these videos at the gym. And, like, yo, they swole as hell. And even in person, I've seen men, like, in person, like, damn, you have achieved the mission. <laughs> you are there. <laughs> you are there, yo. But they be at it. I'm kind of used to this. 10 pound weight i've been doing like reps actually i've been doing like i started out doing 10 on each arm and then i upped it to 20 and so let me see can i do 30 i want to tone my body Who's counting? Well, yeah, that should already be 20. When you start to feel the burn, it's like, all right, that's when you got to stop. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> they be like. <laughs> this is lightweight. This is just perfect, I think, for Tony. No, I think just the thought of it is funny, y'all. I'm not doing this video to be funny necessarily. I just think the thought of dudes just working out, like, past the limit. It's like, that's enough. How much you need to work out? That's enough, y'all. <laughs> Personally, I'm not attracted to, like, bodybuilders. Like men who just overdo it with their muscles, yo. I think it's like, it's like the opposite. Or it's actually similar to the anorexia, I think. How like women, they're so obsessed, so OCD about their body image that they don't eat. Some actually purge when they eat. I think men have like a similar dysfunctionality in their mind where they're so obsessed with their body image, y'all, that they build all this muscle. They be taking all these, like, vitamins and proteins and artificial fucking shit to stimulate this muscle, building of muscle. And it's like, at what expense, though? For what? Like, why? Why? <laughs> why? Is it like to attract more women? They think like, okay, the bigger their muscles, the more women that they're gonna attract. Help me, help me, like help me understand, you guys. For men, I'm talking to men out there who be doing this, and I think it can become an addiction too, though. You know, because you begin to see results, and you're like, oh. And I guess to maintain those results, you keep at it and you like, you just stay in the gym. And I don't know, living in LA, I lived in LA for what, four years, right? It's a huge gym culture out there. Everybody goes to the gym. It's almost like you're an outsider if you don't work out. <laughs> it's crazy. You say it's tantalizing seeing you do this little workout. How was it 10 times? <laughs> no, I got this. Um, I've been wanting to find a dumbbell for the past several weeks now. And I have been searching, like, Googling and looking on Target. And I couldn't find one. I called around a Target. And then I actually found this. I found this, you guys, at um, Whole Foods. I was so surprised to see that Whole Foods actually sold this dumbbell. I grabbed it so quick. 
But I do want to, I just want to tone like my arms. And I definitely want to work out my stomach. I'm toning my stomach just by slimming down on what I eat a little bit. Which that's not hard to do. Let me take that back. It's hard, but it's not hard. It's hard in the sense that I like to eat out. I'm a big foodie. So I like to taste the food. But it's not hard in the sense that I have very good mind control. Like over myself. I'm very disciplined. So that's the easy part, I think. It's easy for me to change my behavior because I know how to change behavior. We are happy with ourselves, so we change our physical and hope we can inspire more men. You do it to inspire men? You don't seem like the type that work out, though, Dwayne. I don't get that from you. I guess looks can't be deceiving, though. I'm talking about the men who are, like, obsessed with working out. I, I, I've been surrounded by these men, especially when I'm in L.A. And even out here in Upper East Side. Just a lot of, like, bodybuilder type dudes out here. And I'm just like, why? I mean, it's one thing to work out to keep yourself in shape for health reasons. Obviously, that makes sense, right? But to do it past that extent, I'm talking about, like, yo, the fucking muscles just, your chest just rippling with muscles and arms. And I'm like, god damn, yo. It just looks very unnatural. Like they are taking some artificial shit to stimulate that. Some steroids or something. It just doesn't look right. And when I watch that, I get the videos on social media. I find it so funny, yo. I find it funny to like watch videos of people working out. It's a thing. And men like will just, they'll put like the camera right there. And they'll just like go off in a distance. And... <laughs> And they do their whole workout routine. I'm just like, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's a culture. It's a thing. I'm not mocking you guys, by the way. L -A the LL uh, Cool J look. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. His is okay. Especially like, you know, back in the day. You know, the LL Cool J look. That's not too bad. But even Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, his looks very natural. I like that he has his own gym, like, at his home, too. You know, it's important to, like, invest in your health, you know. It's not just eating right, but working out. I try to tell that to my freaking client who's borderline fucking about to have a heart attack. Stroke, you know. He's overweight. He was overweight when... It was assigned to me on my caseload. So it was not overweight because of me. But, you know, it's just like people really don't. Oftentimes people don't take action for their health until it's too late. Like they got to be like in the hospital and have had several strokes for them to say, all right, okay, maybe I do need to change. Like They don't take the warning signs seriously, unfortunately. You know, the doctor can say, oh, you know, you have high blood pressure. You're at risk for having a stroke, which that's what his doctor told him. And he's just like he is he he's concerned about it, but his behavior hasn't changed. You got to change your behavior. Yo. At some point, you got to say, all right, you know what? Let me make changes, even if it's just small little changes. Just take one step at a time. Like me, buying this weight. That's just a step. One step at a time. I ain't got to go and buy a, and build a whole freaking home gym. Just one step. Buying one weight. <laughs> and I told myself that I would commit to just lifting this thing. Like I started with 10 and increased it to 20 then 30 and then so on. And then, you know, I need to really up my game and go running though because... I just walk. I walk long distances though. Some dudes are excessive with the man boobs and veins pop and our veins pop out and veins. Yeah, it remind me of Venice Beach, Muscle Beach. So a lot of like bodybuilder types out there. I'm just like that shit is not attractive. It's attractive to see men like taking their health in their hands and taking responsibility for their well-being, but 
overdo it. It's just like, hold up. I think I just did 30 though. I feel like this arm needs a little bit more, so I might do like 10 more. I feel like I naturally work out though. Like there's a market on the end of my block, right? And I have a basket, as most New Yorkers do. We go shopping with our own little basket, you know. And so I have my little cart, my little basket. And instead of taking my basket with me to the market, especially when I get like heavy items like cases of water, I choose not to sometimes, for the most, most of the time, right, for the most part. And I just, like, carry big-ass cases of water down the block. I just, I don't know, it feels good to do that. Today, though, I did something different. I, I took my cart with me this time, but I usually don't. So I just, I find, like, natural ways to work out. Your sister is a fitness trainer. If you're serious about getting in shape. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm serious about my health and I feel like I take my own health in my own hands. And as far as getting a trainer, I'd rather have a male fitness trainer. I have like any resource I need, I have at my disposal, but thank you though. Thank you. Yeah, I walk a lot. Like I walk miles at a time. When I say miles, like five and six miles at a time so i'm pretty in shape i just have like i have like some areas but i think a lot of this is just genetic though like i'm shaped like my dad so this is just genetic <laughs> and i'm okay with it like i don't know i don't feel like self-conscious about my stomach i know it's there but it is what it is but i do i, I got this weight because I don't know. I just like, I want to tone my arms. And I just like the idea of like getting stronger. <laughs> yeah, it's just something about just getting stronger. Even though I know I have like a lot of upper body strength. And I have a, I'm, my legs are pretty strong too because I walk a lot. A lot. But I think it's funny. I hope, um... The gym rats don't come on my video attacking me when I upload this to YouTube. Listen, I'm not hating on y'all. I just think that it's hilarious. But I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Feel free to drop your comments below. Share this video.